are a bioanalytical shop, um, mainly concentrating on LCMS type analysis. And what would you say are the biggest challenges that you face from an analytical perspective? Uh, so Salt Lake itself is a center of excellence for oligonucleotide type analysis. Um, they've got, you know, interferences that aren't nearly associated with small molecules, uh, ionization hurdles that we have to get over, um, stability issues. Uh, there's obviously a large library of type of oligonucleotides that are out there. Could you tell me a little bit about the instrumentation that you use and, and how it helps you? So we use the uh, Thermo uh, Scientific Q Exactive. Uh, both the uh, traditional and plus is on site. We have five in total and um, they're mainly used for oligonucleotide um, therapeutics but we also use them for small molecule also which enables us to not only monitor the therapeutics of interest, but enables us to go back and mine that data for metabolites or other interferences that the client may have discovered later in time without having to re-inject or re-extract those samples. Where do you see things moving in the future? Things are definitely going large. I would say that we've gone from 95% traditional small molecule to about 50-50 just within our shot. Um, obviously, there's uh, antibody type approaches that have come on in the past few years. Um, there's a huge movement to try and move that from typical iChem type analysis to a mass spec type based analysis for certain specificity and selectivity that you would get on a mass spectrometer that you don't get with the other base. Overall, the therapeutics are, are getting more um, complicated. There uh, is a lot more associated in terms of like metabolite ID that's associated with those. Uh, traditional type extractions, you know, we didn't really do high res accurate mass with the Thermo Q Exactive five years ago, but it's now something that is being sought by clients um, in terms of directed type analysis on that platform. In vivo metabolite ID for things like, um, at, well any biotherapeutics, whether it's a protein or, or an oligonucleotide or otherwise, can be quite a challenge. Do you foresee um, that there's any requirements from either an analytical hardware or software perspective that will be needed to help you with that? Maybe even that don't exist today. Any type of predictive software out there that could look at these complicated molecules and give an accurate assessment of what their breakdown products would be, whether that would be an enzymatic breakdown or just an overall you know, molecular stability breakdown is gonna be very important. You know, there's more than just the analysis of one therapeutic at this point. There's, you know, if you're looking at the ADC market, you're looking at ADA type therapeutics, you're looking at DAR, you're looking at the free toxin, you're looking at the linker, and you just can't afford that much matrix to do every single analysis individually. So the more we can combine that into one clean injection, extraction, and analysis, obviously we save time in terms of turnaround, we save money in terms of analysis to our client, and we, we, sit, we increase the throughput overall and the therapeutic can get to market. How do you differentiate yourself from your competition? We do have the Thermo Q Exactive on site, and beyond that, we, as in terms of the Salt Lake City site, have really kind of been the center for oligonucleotide, you know, analysis. It, it started on easily 10 years ago in that field. Uh, we've produced a tremendous amount of data for our clients within that field, and really stand out in terms of that therapeutic alone. And for you personally, what motivates you? So it's really coming from an organic chemist to a bioanalytical chemist, just to looking at the field as a whole unit really drives me day to day at work. Mm -hmm.